Jimmy Bat's ball, you the fuck you. Bonjour et bienvenue guys, it is your boy Garage Gaming here and today I would like to talk about a tank that I've already done a video on but because Garjan have done a dev blog, well I've got to basically keep up with appearances and make a video on it. So this is the Atelier de Construction de Isle Molino 30 with uh, the Brunel's armor package. So we're going to have fun taking a look at the French words in this dev blog but other than that I'm... Yeah, it's just an Amex 30 B2 with some uh, ARA blocks on it. I believe it's 114 or 112 to be specific. I don't know, we'll check out the death block and find out exactly. Amex 30 B2 Brunels, the modern ironclad. The Amex 30 B2 Brunels is a late modification to the famous French second generation main battle tank, which has most notably received ARA armor to increase protection against modern ammunition types. Players can expect the AMX-30 B2 Brunus to make its appearance in the game as part of the update 1.77 Advancing Storm. During the mid to late 1990s, AMX-30 B2 tanks of the Premier Dash Dizième Chasseurs Tank Regiment, which formed France's Rapid Reaction Force in peacetime, underwent upgrading under the Brunus modernization program, whilst two further regiments received modifications to quickly upgrade their AMX-30s with the Brunus package if needed, the Dizium and the Sankiem Dragons. The Brunus Upgrade Package, acronym for Briques de React ah, Briques Reactives de Sublombage, most notably allowed the installment of 112 ERA blocks developed by the Giat company across the front portion and of the hull and turret. To compensate for the additional weight of the ERA packages, an improved eight cylinder seven hundred and fifty horsepower MACKE uh, nine diesel engine was fitted. The Brennison modification was among the first, uh, sorry, last to be fitted to the original AMX 30 tank. In War Thunder, the AMX 30 B2 Brennus will be an additional rank six to the French ground forces tree. Compared to its predecessors, the B2 Brennus will offer comparable performance at first glance, as most of the vehicle's characteristics remain unchanged. However, the biggest and most visible change of, is, of course, the addition of the aero protection package. Although it adds almost two tons to the vehicle's weight, the ARA packages increase the AMX 30's frontal and turret endurance against heat projectiles by up to 400 mm, in addition to the 100 to 120 mm of original armor. This upgrade may already get the occasional AMX 30 owner excited to finally receive some functional armor, but at the same time, they shouldn't forget that ARA is a one-time type of use, one-time use type of armor. Stay vigilant on the battlefield and don't overestimate your protection, unless you really like pressing that return to hangar button. The Amex 30 B2 Brennus will become available to all players of War Thunder at the top rank of the French Ground Forces tree with the upcoming 1.77 Advancing Storm update. Stay tuned to the news for more information on update 1.77. Until then. Now this is pretty cool because I was actually one of the first people to ever do a War Thunder video on the AMX-30. In fact, I'm pretty sure I was the first person to do a video on the AMX-30 tank. So that was about three months ago. So it's cool to see that a lot of the variants that you talked about in the video are actually starting to come out. So this one is equipped with 112 um, of these little ERA bricks, which massively increases the protection on the front of the tank. Of course, I had to relocate a lot of the smoke grenade launchers. Um, which, you know, is pretty normal. And I never noticed, but the um, the AMX-30 actually has a remote sort of turret on the top, so which is pretty cool. So yeah, um, other than that, there is really not a lot of information about this tank that I haven't already covered on my other video, so I'm going to link that down in the description below. But yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. It's been your boy Garrett G Gaming here, out of Wa, and I'll catch you guys next time.